And right now, I want to welcome David Adams, the president of the Virginia Shooting Sports Association, to the program. David, good evening, sir. Good evening again, Cam. All right. So yesterday, the Virginia Senate voted down the uh, the gun show bill. And then we had a uh, senator say, "Wait, wait, wait! I misvoted. I need. We need to have another vote." And that other vote, a do over, a do over. That's right. And that do over happened today, right? That's correct. All right. What happened? Uh, well, only he, he was the only one who switched his vote. Uh, it lost on a 19 to 21 vote, and so it is now dead for the session because you can only bring something back to life one time, and and they had their one shot and it's gone. Wow. So again, when you were on the program last night, encouraging folks to call those two state senators that were being lobbied hard by the gun control side, they stood firm. They stood firm, and so I hope all uh, of the folks that are in their districts will uh, contact them and thank them for standing strong with gun owners because they didn't buckle under the pressure and they, they voted the way that uh, we were hoping they would. All right. Now, who are those senators again? Uh, Senator uh, Stosh from Henrico County, which is in the Richmond area, and Senator John Watkins from the Chesterfield, which is also in the uh, Richmond area, and both senators were targeted by the Virginia Center for Public Safety. They sent out an email last night urging their supporters to contact those two senators. Uh, we did the same thing as well as uh, some other gun groups in Virginia, and I think the combination of everyone working, encouraging those senators to continue to stand strong with gun owners uh, helped us win the day today in the state senate. All right, that is good news. Uh, the gun show bill uh, dead in the Senate for the remainder of the session. Although I understand that the sponsor of the bill, uh, 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 Senator Marsh, has said that he may try to uh, bring back a watered down version later in the session. There is the opportunity for a senator to ask for unanimous consent to introduce a bill after the filing deadline. The filing deadline was in the middle of January, I think it was January 23rd, but there is the opportunity for a senator to uh, get unanimous consent, which is generally a courtesy. They will grant the senator requesting the ability to introduce legislation, pass a deadline to do so. So, you know, anything can happen. Nothing's finished until uh, bills that have to be considered in the House of Origin are uh, or past that deadline, and I believe that deadline is the 13th or 14th, which is referred to as crossover. So he has between now and then to try to bring about a bill, Senator Stolle's bill, which is uh, Senate Bill 1385, is also hanging around. That's the bill that would tax gun show promoters by requiring them to pay state uh, police troopers to monitor gun shows. He wanted to hold that bill in committee until after they found out what happened with 1257. Now that it's dead, it's very possible that he will be moving uh, or uh, promoting that bill to go through Senate Courts of Justice. It was on the docket today. They apparently had such a long docket they didn't get to it. But, um, you know, there are still a couple of other venues that Morris could use. The, the danger in the Stolle bill is that if that were to pass and get up to the governor's desk, he could send down a substitute and put that substitute as a gun show loophole bill again. So we want to stop all these bills in the Senate, kill them now, and be done with it. Okay. Now, what about uh, what about pro Second Amendment uh, legislation, Dave? We've been talking so much about the uh, the the gun show bill. That uh, is there uh, is there news to report on the pro Second Amendment front? Yes. In fact, yesterday that kind of got overshadowed because of the shenanigans that went on with the gun show bill. Uh, Senator Hanger's bill, Senate Bill 1035, which is a repeal of the restaurant ban, passed the Senate 24 to 16. However, Marsh voted the wrong way on that bill, so we actually only have 23 votes we can count on uh, should the governor uh, decide to veto it if it gets past the House, which I expect it to do so. So instead of the actual 24 that it passed by, you can only count 23 of those as solid votes. But, yeah, that was good news yesterday. The restaurant repeal has once again passed the state senate two years in a row. Well, that is great news to hear. And, uh, David, again, I appreciate you coming on the program tonight. And uh, thanks for all the work that you did this week on behalf of Virginia gun owners. That wasn't me. It was Virginia gun owners. They were the <laughs> ones that were contacting their senators, and uh, they, they had uh, good success. Uh, yesterday and again today. So it's, it's the, the victory goes to the gun owners. All right. Well, David, I know the uh, session's not over yet, not by a long shot, so we'll be talking again very soon, I'm sure. All right, Cam. Thanks a lot. Thanks, David. Have a great night. You too. David Adams.